Meghan Markle recalls emotional moment with daughter Princess Lilibet, I hung on to those words. A beautiful mother-daughter interaction between Meghan Markle and Princess Lilibet is being discussed by Meghan Markle in her recent interview. On Friday May 10, the Duchess of Sussex, who is 42 years old, spent the day with her husband, Prince Harry, who is 39 years old, visiting a school in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. In addition, as she was interacting with the youngsters there, she described an emotional conversation that she had recently had with her daughter. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Lily, our daughter, comes in at a size that is far smaller than you all. Her third birthday is coming very soon. When she looked at me a few weeks ago, she would just see the reflection in my eyes. She would merely gaze at me. And she comes up to me and says, Mama, I see myself in you, Megan remembered to a group of young children in the classroom. Oh my goodness, she was speaking in a really literal manner. Nevertheless, I clung to those statements in a manner that was quite different, she went on to say. Then I had the idea, yes, I do see myself in you, and you do see yourself in me. Following that, Megan shared with the class, as I look around this room, I see myself in each and every one of you as well. During the visit, the couple participated in a number of enjoyable classroom games alongside the children, including a rendition of the game Jump Up, Turn Around. They also shared some interesting anecdotes about the activities that her own children enjoy doing the most. She mentioned that singing and dancing was Lily's favorite class, most likely due to all the jumping around, and that Prince Archie, who was five years old, enjoyed building. She also mentioned that students displayed their robotic projects in a STEM session. Additionally, the couple was introduced to the class's eldest child, who was five years old. Megan informed them that their son Archie was five years old. The previous week, he celebrated his fifth birthday. During their first trip to Nigeria, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at the school, which was one of the first stops they made during their journey. The Chief of Defense Staff of Nigeria, who is the highest ranking military officer in the country, extended an invitation to them when they arrived in the country. During their weekend visit, the pair seemed to have a full schedule of activities planned. In the afternoon of Friday May 10, Prince Harry will meet with injured service members at a military hospital. On Saturday May 11, Meghan will co-host an event of Women in Leadership with Dr Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, Director General of the World Trade Organization. Both of these events are scheduled to take place. On May 11, the couple will also participate in a training session for the organization Nigeria, Unconquered, as well as a reception that will be held in honor of military families and will be hosted by the Chief of Defense Staff. The following day, they are scheduled to participate in a basketball clinic with Giants of Africa, a cultural reception, and a polo fundraiser for Nigeria, Unconquered. Additionally, the visit is significant for the couple, particularly Meghan, who disclosed in 2022 that she had learned through a genealogy test, that she was 43% Nigerian. This knowledge is very significant for Meghan. While discussing it on her Archetypes podcast, she stated, I'm going to start to delve deeper into all this because everybody that I've told, especially Nigerian women, are like what? She was referring to the fact that she was about to start with the investigation. This is a significant deal for our community, Zeeb, who is 30 years old, said. No, to tell you the truth, you very much resemble a Nigerian, in fact, you resemble my aunt Uzo. This is a wonderful thing. At the first ever mental health summit, which was held at the Lightway Academy on May 10 and was organized by the Gianco Foundation, both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex gave rousing welcome addresses. A farm on Ima, who is in charge of Gianco and is based in Abuja, stated in an exclusive interview with People that, Megan's, really interested in going to Nigeria and learning about it. 
it is a place that is not only rich and diversified, but also tough and wild, but also profoundly inspirational and warm. There is a great deal to learn on this land. A true sense of her roots is something that she is going to be able to gain by coming here, and I think she is going to be able to really take that in. The fact that we are a part of that is simply an honor. To be their first stop on their journey, is a privilege that we are honored to have.